Hello everybody. All of you are welcome in English class. Today we are going to study, we are going to discuss about an essay, what is style, that is written by Mavish Gallant. Let's go to the brief introduction about the writer. So name, slight spelling mistake, N A M E, okay, ma'am. Mavish Leslie de Tarpot Young Gallant, full name. She was born in 1922 and died in uh, 2014. Nationality, Canadian, and occupationally, uh, she's an assist, novelist, and story writer. Her important works are the the other parish, the end of the worlds and the other stories, was it to be done, green water, green sky, these are the important work. Well, what is the theme, what she want to say in this essay, is that she deal with the style of literary writing, not other style, style of writing literature. Okay. What she suggests is that it should be natural, writing should be natural and the style is absolutely personal and she gives priority to simplicity and clarity. It should be simple and clear and should be euphony in reading. The reader need to enjoy the reading, euphony in reading. And it depicts the example of different writers and the style shows that writer is the voracious readers and give example, different example. Okay. Well, let's go to the interpretation of the essay. She start the essay by stating that what style is not. What is style? She begin it from what style is not. A charming and slip cover a slip cover, a coat of paint that just a cover or use as a mask. These are the, you know, only cover. They do not make the essay writing interesting and effective. They are not structured at all. She stated that author style is inseparable from the structure of the author writing. It means author writing and style are connected closely. All the content, let's see this line, all the contents, what content you want to include in your literature, meaning, what is the meaning that we want to convey, intention of the writings, forms, must make up a whole in writing. This thing, content, meaning, intention form that only make the integratedly whole there are rules of style of course in every style there are certain rules the writer should develop the lucidity lucidity is one important characteristics that should include the euphony simplicity in their writing these qualities make a writer great as somerset moms it shows that uh, the writer is very much impressed with the Somerset mom's writings. Like other poems of arts, literature is no more and no less than a matter of life and death. It also, you know, life and death, it should reflect the reality of the life. Life and death, in between life and death, what happened, I mean activities, okay, that should be reflected. There are not any reliable rules to writing and these rules heavily really on the artist himself exactly there is no rigid rule the writer of course can choose the suitable according to the various style of different scholar of the world the style of writing is like a fingerprint very nice example fingerprint there are millions of millions of people the fingerprint are not the same they are absolutely unique in the same way 
in the same way they can be similar but they cannot be the same in the same way like a fingerprint the style is absolutely different individual to individual there there's no such thing as a writer who has escaped being influenced it means every writer every writer should have some sort of the influence from the other writers so we cannot escape from influence being influenced the professional and the great writer never talk of any quality and talk about the pure style why because that is the integrated one but they personalize it they take some idea from one writer from other writers on the basis of their influence which writer they like most and they develop their own style so what happened it cannot be purely personal but there is the influence of the other writers the writer may have some influence from other and that can be called acquisition the influence of the writer that is called acquisition they are affected by the taste and environment and instinctive selection but those acquisition that is modified by personal taste environment and the instinctive uh, selection of the particular writer the writer need to choose first need to what need to be written should be chosen and chew this should chew into pieces and assimilate and digest naturally as a as an animal a spelling mistake animal a n i m a l right animals the process as choosing chewing into pieces assimilating digesting it takes lots of process in writing in conclusion she says that the style cannot be copied except by the poor one only the poor writer copied but genuine writer never copy they take some idea but they develop their own style of writing it is the distillation of a lifetime distillation that the collection purity of the lifetime listening reading selection and the rejection yes you listen and you read you select and you reject something after that what is that you know accumulated like the distilled waters so that it's a distillation okay that is the writing style it is not true voice as if it is not true voice it is nothing the writer says that if that is not the true voice that is nothing that sort of the writing is useless but the writing the writer need to write the true voice what he really perceive what he really realize what he really understand okay that should be true voice should be reflected in his or her writing that is of course to writing all right thank you very much for your listening